There's 600,000 homeless people in the United States. And if architects are not rising to that challenge, then maybe our profession really needs to be rethought. Maybe that role of architect really needs to be redefined. The second note we have is about the families. I mean, could you imagine you and your family were living out on the street? Veterans, these folks are put out in the front lines to protect our freedom, and they come back and they end up on the street. 100 million homeless people globally. And if that number doesn't shock you, 1.6 billion people on the planet don't have adequate housing. They're sleeping in a thatch roof hut, or they're sleeping in a bush, or in a used tent, or underneath the bridge overpass. You tell me what's the responsible thing to do. And it's always about people. It's always about helping to improve the condition on the planet. People are meant to be loved, and things are meant to be used. Keep this in mind. Buildings are things. Architects sometimes fall in love with those buildings. We don't. The building is a means to an end. That building, or the space we create, is meant to improve the quality of life for our fellow man. I'm interested in making a positive impact on the lives of families, their children, their grandchildren, and the generations to come through the buildings and the spaces we create, because I believe our built environment can improve your quality of life. I'm a strong believer in that. There are many architects who've given up on that idea, but that's not something I'm ready to give up on. And we created this temporary project, which is um, on county land, which is supposed to come down in three years, but it won't. It'll stay up. It's solving a huge problem in the city. You'll see here, we're right on Wilshire Boulevard, mid Wilshire. This is a prominent location. There's 70 beds made of, I think we have 24 modules all together. This is, these are renderings, site overview. Entry right here where it says hope. All of this is living units, take in areas, showers, communal showers, bathrooms. And these are our renderings for the project. And then we went along and just kept building, and we did everything that y'all do in here, and you're all familiar with this, you know, how do we add things together uh, from a modular perspective, and it was just good old hard work at the end of the day, and we went right down into the details, and it, the place was not treated like a minimum security prison, okay, and often that's what happens when people create homeless shelters, and it becomes, I don't want to say a blight on the land, but everyone in the neighborhood kind of looks down on it. Okay, so our objective was to create something that had some level of detail that was affordable and was going to get these folks off the street. Some interior shots, and it's kind of like communal living. Everyone has their own space, but it's not sectioned off into a separate room. There's communal baths, communal laundry, communal offices. And then the project started to come together, and then one day it was done. The entire thing is set up in a party, really, around a central courtyard, which is meant to be a social space. Most of these people live in a tent and don't even want to come out of the tent. But here we're trying to promote some interaction, get people up on their feet and get them back into society as productive members. And then here it is in full bloom. And there's actually families living in here as well. The entire project is adorned with what we call local heroes. These are people in Los Angeles who don't get a claim. They don't get recognized by the press, right? It's Magic Johnson, it's Beyonce, it's all those folks. But these are the people who make a difference every day, okay? They sweep the city street for one block, and they don't own it. They just do that every day, and, and it's that those little contributions that make the place special. So we wanted to recognize those people and place them into the architecture. So the homeless people are not looking up at Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson and saying, you know, I'll never get there. That's beyond me. But they're really curious about this, and who is this person? Well, this is the local guy who's been taking care of us in the neighborhood for the last 20 years. I can do that. That creates hope for these people. So our job is not just to create buildings, but we had to get them on their feet and out of there. The people who don't have adequate housing, those are the people we've been called to help. That's why I'm here. That's why you probably showed up here to listen to how we're doing that and why we're doing that. We're not interested in creating just another beautiful building for the sake of creating a building. The positive impact on lives, that's what we're 
out to achieve. That's our goal. But these spaces we create, that's the legacy. That's what we're out for. That's what makes the huge difference in the quality of life. All right, first place goes to the Maria Design Steel Blocks and RNS to their All right, welcome to our job. This is our homeless shelter in LA. This is a result of three years of intense research and development, and it's finally coming to fruition. Happy as can be. I've got roofers, excavators, electricians, a whole bunch of people here today. We're gonna to finish this project up. It's gonna house about 70 people. Being there's over 65,000 homeless people in LA, we've got a lot of work to do. But this is the first step. We've got to plant that seed before we can reap the harvest, that's for sure. So this is a great step, very happy. Moving forward, we're gonna take care of our fellow man. That's what we're meant to be. That's what we're meant to do. We hope you're gonna join us.